Veterans Day. Yes, hey, today is the day that America was established, July the 4th, 1776. All this craziness about 1619, we reject that. We do not accept that because we do not want the progressive socialist left to not just revise our history, but to completely eliminate our history and try to make us believe that we're something that we're not. And let me tell you something. I see some white people out there. I don't feel oppressed by y'all being here. I am not a victim. I am a victor. And that's the message we have to send about the United States of America. Now, Sandra just uh, told you all that earlier today, while I was speaking at my home church, I made the announcement to become your next governor of the great state of Texas. If you want, go to the website, westfortexas.com. That's the number four. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you spreading that message. Because the eyes of America are on what we do here in Texas. And the eyes of the world are on America. And therefore, the eyes of the world are watching Texas and what we will be for the future and the legacy of our children and our grandchildren. And why do I think it's so important to be down here in South Texas? You know, after the November 2020 election, every single interview that I had, the question was, how did y'all do it? How did y'all flip the Rio Grande Valley? You guys kicked butt. You guys made history. And now, for the first time in 36 years, we have a Republican mayor in the Rio Grande Valley. you are telling the left, the thing that you are telling the Democrats, that your skin color and your ethnicity does not define who you are. Now sadly, in the black community, they have destroyed that community. When you think about what the black community used to be, it's exactly what the Hispanic community is. A community that believed in a strong Judeo-Christian faith heritage. A community that believed in strong families small business entrepreneurship, quality education, individual responsibility, service to the nation. But all of a sudden, the left came into the black community and told us we were victims. And they still continue to tell us that we are victims. Think about this. When you hear about the population size of the black community in the United States of America, we've been stuck on 13% for I don't know how long. And they ask yourself, how does that happen? Because since 1973 in Roe v. Wade, over 20 million black babies have been murdered in the womb. And when you look at all the major urban population centers across Texas, across the United States of America, controlled by Democrats, the black on black crime is astronomical. But you don't hear Black Lives Matter talking about the babies that are murdered in the womb. You don't hear Black Lives Matter talking about the black on black crime because they're a Marxist organization and they could give a damn about what's happening in the black community. And if the Hispanic community is not careful, if you don't pay attention to what happened to the black community, if you don't realize that we're the canaries in the coal mine, they're gonna do the exact same thing to you, which is why they are flooding illegal immigrants across your border, our border in Texas, into the great state of Texas to create the next victim and dependency class. That's the number one thing that we have to do in Texas. There is no reason why we should not be, as Texans, securing that border and shutting it down. Full mobilization of our National Guard. And we've got to go after the cartels. It's about time that we say who they are. They're a criminal and terrorist organization. Let's start going after their money in these banks. Let's start going after these real estate agencies that are supplying them with these stash houses. Let's start taxing all of these remittances that illegal immigrants are sending back to Mexico, back to Nicaragua, back to El Salvador, and guess what? That's how we fund our border security. Yes, we cannot sit around and continue to do nothing because your safety, your security, the future of your children and grandchildren is what's at stake. And the other thing we gotta do, look at this beautiful day that we have here. Economic growth and development all across the great state of Texas. We have got to bring more businesses and more business opportunities into Texas, but we don't do it by taking taxpayer dollars and picking and choosing which business or which corporation we want to have coming to Texas. 
People should want to move to Texas because they want to be a Texan. People should want to move to Texas because you can walk around strapped with one of these, okay? You know, some guy asked me, he said, what agency did you retire from? I said, I retired from the United States Army. I believe in the Constitution. That's why I can carry this thing, because the Second Amendment is my permit. How many people here are registered Republicans? I need you to get registered to vote. I need you to understand you gotta participate in this. But today is not just the 245th anniversary of the United States of America. Today is the birthday of the Republican Party of Texas. The Republican Party of Texas was founded on July the 4th of 1867 in Houston, Texas, 154 years ago by 150 black men. You should be clapping about that. Because these were men that had just found out two years prior that they were no longer slaves, that they were free. But the thing that we should learn from them, people like Norris Wright Cooney, the first black chairman of the Republican Party of Texas. State Senator Matthew Gaines, State Senator who helped to find Texas A&M University in Prairie View A&M. State Representative G.T. Ruby. The lessons that they teach us is that we are not defined by what we once were. We are defined by what we attempt to be. And every single one of you needs to understand the importance of liberty and freedom. And all I'm asking you to do is to allow me to do the exact same thing that my life has been defined by. On 31 July 1982, at the University of Tennessee, when I raised my right hand, and many of you here, soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guards, you also raised your right hand. And you said, I, and you stated your full name, Alan Bernard West, do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any purpose of evasion or mental reservation so help me God. My life has been about service and sacrifice and commitment to God and the country. I now want to serve you as your governor here in the state of Texas. George Orwell once said, that a nation can sleep peacefully at night because rough men stand ready to do violence on their behalf. I want you to know that you can sleep peacefully at night with me as your governor because I will never ever say who or what is essential. Because the most essential thing is your liberty. And I will never take your liberty or take your freedom away from you. God bless you all. Happy Independence Day. God bless America. God bless Texas.